Welcome to IMTS. Uh, my name is Mike Chico. I'm the president and CEO of Fanuc America. Uh, I'm here with Robbie Kay, uh, one of our distinguished integrators, one of our Thank most longest-standing uh, integrators. Uh, we're here at IMTS uh, in, in the Fanuc booth. Here you'll see a lot of uh, the latest and greatest technology and innovation. Uh, really a must-see event to come to IMTS. Uh, and Robbie, thanks for your partnership and, uh, and being here with me today. Well, we appreciate uh, your partnership very much as well. As uh, IMTS is always an amazing feast for people in the manufacturing world. And automation has just been taken off like crazy. So us as an integrator, it's, a, it's an amazing, like I said, amazing event. We come with our entire team all the way from, from my level, all the way across service, techs, everybody's here, designers. A chance to meet with partners like yourself, mm -hmm. a chance to meet our customers, uh, a chance to meet a lot of people that you usually don't get to meet. And that's why we're here. Absolutely. We're going to be here every year. Same, same with us. Uh, when you think about what IMTS stands for, the International Manufacturing Technology Show, uh, manufacturing technology is really what this show is all about. You'll see a lot of machine tools. You'll see a lot of the technology uh, here with uh, cutting metal, uh, additive on metal. Uh, but here in the Fanuc booth, you'll also see a lot of different forms of automation. Uh, some of the latest and greatest technologies from vision sensing, force sensing, collaborative robots, uh, even the latest in, uh, in IIoT, the Industrial Internet of Things. Uh, we're connected to many of the robots that Aceta has uh, here. We're writing custom uh, applications uh, with your group and many other customers. So really this whole show is, is not only showing the latest and greatest technology, but it's also connected uh, yep. amongst each other as well. Yeah, and for us it's exciting every time Fanuc comes out with a new technology and they share it with us because we're bringing it to the general industry. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. We basically, we partner with Fanuc. They come up with really cool technology. We take that, we apply to everyday use out in the marketplace. And manufacturing in general, this is obviously the flagship show for manufacturing. Uh, it's a big, big piece of the United States economy. And we're very happy to be able to see all these companies here at one place. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's, you, you bring up a good point. It's the way we work our businesses is people are coming in here with their manufacturing problems, yep. and we're trying to help them solve those problems. And the way Fanuc goes to market is through our distribution channels and systems integrators. So we're able to use the technology that we come up with and, uh, and have you apply that uh, in the field to the customers. And it's a really good way that I think we, we're able to tackle the marketplace. Absolutely. So one of the big things that, uh, that we're getting asked all the time here is, is how can these guys make more things? All the, the customers that are coming into the booth are asking us, how can we be more productive? How can we keep running? And we really think automation is the key. Uh, on some of the robots that we have here, especially maybe on the collaborative robots, this allows the people and the robots to work in conjunction with one another. Yep. It really boosts the productivity of, of what a manu manufacturer can do. Uh, on top of that, we have a lot of industrial vision systems uh, down in the booth, so it gives the robots a sense of sight, so we don't need uh, fixtures, we can increase yep. uptime. Um, we also have a, a product called Zero Downtime that uh, can predict and analyze the failures that uh, the machinery might have well before it actually happens, yep. all in the efforts of keeping uptime and, and letting these manufacturers continue to make more things. Our biggest competitor is companies not automating. That's our biggest competitor. And we gotta get over that. That's why we're here. You're not gonna, we hear this all the time. I don't think I'm ready for automation yeah. yet. And that, that's what we're both working together on, making sure that customers feel comfortable mm -hmm. with interactive systems, trying to make it very easy for them to adopt automation. Because we want these companies to be in business next year and the following year and come to many more IMTSs to apply a lot more technology into their shops because we're not going to compete on a global scale based on hourly rates. Absolutely. We're, the, the moment everybody automates, now we have a plain playing field. Now the hourly rate is not anymore the dec decisive factor why sure. somebody's going to manufacture in the United States or in China. Mm -hmm. So that's where we need to get to, plain playing field globally, and we're helping the United States manufacturing companies to get to that point. Right. You know, one of the things that we see a lot is uh, when companies come into us, they say, we'd love to buy your machine or we'd love to uh, buy this machine tool, but we can't find the people to actually do it. Um, and so w w one of the other ways that we help is, is by using robots and automation, 
you not only can automate the jobs that you have, but the people that you currently have at the factory become much more productive. They have a much higher skill level, they have a much more satisfactory job and work environment, and uh, that's another one of the big things that we hear here at the show. When it comes to our collaborative robots, uh, we recognize that there are many tasks that a, that a person does very, very well. Yep. Say routing a cable or doing some detailed uh, yep. visual inspection. Um, but there's a lot of things that uh, are repetitive or dangerous or dirty that uh, a human worker doesn't want to do. So with the collaboration between people and robots and having the people and the robots literally work right next to each other, uh, our collaborative robots have, have allowed those two things to really blend together. The, the humans do the things that the humans are really, really good at, yep. and the robots do the things that, they, that they're really good at, and uh, having those two things blend together has, has been great. And it's one of our big taglines, and it's true. We always tell customers, you need to exploit technology, mm -hmm. not people. Yeah, that is right. really, there's no reason with today's technology that's available out there to exploit people. Yeah. So anywhere you have hazardous applications, anywhere repetitive tasks, yeah, perfect example. If you look over there, welding, painting, those kind of things, human beings shouldn't be doing yeah. anymore. And we're seeing manufacturing employees really embrace the technology yeah. because uh, when they would come to work, they, they would be doing something that might have been a little dangerous or repetitive or dull. And being able to collaborate with the robots, it really allows them to focus on the things that uh, make their job uh, easier to do and, yeah. and, and, and a lot more satisfying to them. Really, the goal needs to be that humans don't don't physically anymore do the processes, but they manage an overall process. So for example, um, we're coming out with some welding robots, mm -hmm. an entire welding line. And that to us is, we envision a, welding is an art that is very difficult to do. And we wanna make sure that the smart, the smart customer is going to have a core group of super smart welders running entire shops of robots doing the welding for them. So. That is really the goal, and not having 50 welders doing the job, but have one, two, maybe five people mm -hmm. that can that can run a productive weld shop. And with that, most important is, of course, the health hazard that comes with welding. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that we minimize the impact on human beings as they're producing everything you see here. Absolutely. Yeah, we see that on welding, spot welding, arc welding, dispensing, painting. All of these where the robots are going to do the, the dangerous part of the process and uh, the humans are going to be the ones that do the, uh, the thinking. If you are in the manufacturing industry, if you're having any type of challenges, we're here with FANUC. Uh, we're the integrators. We're the guys that touch the customers in the general industry. Love to talk to you. Give us a call. We look at many challenges every day. Come to YMTS. This is where you're going to find us. This is the epicenter of manufacturing, and hope to see you guys next year again. Yeah, Robbie, I agree. This is uh, this is the place to be. IMTS 2018. Uh, we've seen so many customers already. Uh, there's so much technology here, uh, not only in our booth, but all the demo cells that uh, CETA and some of our other partners have pulled together. This really is the place to be to help us uh, to, to come talk to us and have us help solve your manufacturing challenges. Anytime.